Happy learning! Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Uh, let us see about uh, lead identification. A lead is a compound uh, or a molecule with a desired pharmacological or biological activity. The lead compounds uh, provides a starting platform for the drug development process. Lead discovery uh, includes uh, we can find the leads from plants, microbes, marine sources, animals, venoms or toxin sources. Lead molecules could be identified uh, through drug metabolism studies or clinical observations or it may be through serendipity also. Apart from this uh, random and non-random screening are also useful in identification of leads. Uh, in this video we are going to see all these things. Computer simulations are also useful in uh, rational approaches of drug design where leads could be modified. So let us see the sources of lead. Uh, the lead compounds can be may be obtained from uh, natural sources or synthetic sources. The, let us see about the natural sources. They are uh, microbial flora, animal sources, uh, microbes, marine or human body. The synthetic sources include uh, the biosynthesis, full synthesis, molecular modification, semi-synthesis or through stereochemistry or combinatorial synthesis and obtaining the leads from the uh, data libraries. Uh, let us see about the lead identification from plants. Plants are the rich sources of lead molecules. Uh, there are many plant uh, derived drugs. For example, morphine. Uh, it is the active ingredient which is obtained from opium in the year 1803. Emitin obtained from Ipecac. Still now it is in useful in cases of uh, poisoning. It is used as a emetic. It was obtained in the year uh, 1816. Digoxin obtained from digitalis it came into the market uh, in the 18th century cocaine obtained from coca used as a local anesthetic uh, it was introduced in the year 1860 and physostigmine uh, which is used as uh, eye drops the source is calabar bean uh, it uh, is identified in the year uh, 1864 now let us see the lead identification from microbes uh, everyone knows uh, penicillin is obtained from the fungus uh, penicillium notatum. Vancomycin uh, was obtained from amylo, amylo, amycolaptosis orientalis. Erythromycin obtained from uh, saccharo, uh, polyspora erythrae. And aphotericin B is obtained from uh, streptomyces nodosus. So these are the lead molecules where it could be modified. The derivatives of penicillin are derivatives of erythromycin like clarithromycin, roxithromycin. So these are all the leads which have been identified from microbes. Let us see the leads which are obtained from marine sources. They include, uh, I have given very few examples. Uh, one is cytarabine and eribulin. They are obtained from uh, marine uh, sponges. And trabectidin, uh, which is obtained from marine tunicate. All these drugs are anti-cancer drugs. Uh, let us see the leads which are identified from animals. So one is uh, Ecuadorian frog. And the lead molecule which has been obtained is uh, epibatidine. It is a very potent uh, analgesic drug. Let us see the lead identification from venoms and toxins. Tetrodoxin, uh, it is used to treat cancer pain. It is uh, it's a lead molecule which is obtained from puffer fish. And uh, Brazilian viper. Uh, that is that uh, a lead molecule obtained from it is teprotide. From the teprotide, uh, the molecule, the famous uh, lead uh, drug which is derived is captopril. Then, uh, onobotulinum uh, uh, toxin, uh, which is used as an anti migraine agent, it was obtained from the microbe Clostridium botulinum. Then, uh, from uh, cobra venom. Alpha bungaro toxin uh, was obtained, uh, which is a lead molecule. It is used to study the neuromuscular uh, junction function. Um, uh, then uh, let us see about uh, random screening. So, random screening means uh, you do the trial and error method 
and then uh, you take uh, the list of molecules do trial and error and do you arrive at a uh, conclusion that is called random screening so this method is used when the when the known drugs are not available so you test different drugs that is called random screening all the compounds are tested in the assay irrespective of their chemical structure nowadays millions of compounds are rapidly screened by high throughput screening this is the method of choice when the drug receptor details are not known random screening involves no intellectualization all the compounds are tested in the bioassay without regard to their structures let us see about a non random screening it is opposite of random screening it is a modified method of random screening it is also called focused screening in this method the compounds uncovered in random screening that possess weak activity or different functional groups are selectively tested for example screening of anti cancer compounds uh, as cancer is not a single disease but these compounds uh, they are tested against a particular set that is anti cancer then it is called non random screening uh, let us see the leads which are obtained from metabolisms Uh, terfenadine uh, was a molecule which was withdrawn from the market because of QT prolongation, uh, which was cardiotoxic. Its metabolite is fexofenadine. Uh, it has no cardiotoxicity, so it is a useful antihistaminic drug. Then the next example is uh, uh, prontosil. Uh, the history of prontosil, sulfonylamide was derived from prontosil. It's a metabolite of prontosil. Uh, when uh, prontosil was tested uh, it had uh, no antibacterial activity in vitro but it had possessed uh, antibacterial activity in vivo it was a mystery in animals the intestinal bacteria converted it to its active metabolite sulfonylamide which act as an antibacterial agent the next example is a nurse mistakenly dispensed phenacetin to a patient it reduced the fever uh, so that was emerged emerged as a paracetamol drug the first and second generation antihistaminics hydroxyzin was sedative but the second generation the metabolite of hydroxyzin is cetirizine it is having a less sedative when compared to the hydroxyzin uh, there are many lead molecules which are obtained through the clinical observation so one is sildenafil it was uh, first launched uh, for heart disease but uh, the adverse effect uh, was uh, penile erection so this led to blockbuster drug for erectile dysfunction because of its uh, vasodilatory activity the next uh, sulindac which was not a uh, active drug the metabolism converted it to a active drug which had uh, the anti inflammatory property the next example is uh, in 1947 john hopkins university uh, tested a molecule diamond hydrinate which was given to a patient with car sickness it provided relief then uh, later it was found that it was effective for sea sickness and air sickness now it is used for motion sickness also next uh, let us see the leads which are identified from rational approaches uh, serotonin uh, was taken as a lead molecule which was uh, autocoid or a local neurotransmitter the famous drug which was derived from it is indomethacin the next is uh, 17 beta estradiol uh, which is a hormone uh, it was uh, weak and uh, short acting but its derivative 17 alpha ethyl estradiol was a strong and long acting activity the next is progesterone which is weak and uh, short acting and its derivative norgestrel uh, was a strong and long acting activity uh, let us see the lead identification from serendipity that is uh, what is serendipity means finding one thing while looking for something else is called serendipity Uh, you know this uh, famous uh, scientist alexander fleming alexander fleming his research was on influenza staphylococcus culture plates uh, when he kept and uh, gone out he came after some time 
uh, he saw the culture plates uh, got contaminated with uh, a mold that created a bacteria free circle so that led to the uh, uh, the famous uh, blockbuster molecule penicillin penicillin antibiotic obtained from penicillium notatum the next example is uh, the lead molecule penicillin was used to derive benzene that is benzyl penicillin its derivatives are amoxicillin ampicillin which is still available in the market the next example is uh, uh, when the bacterial cells uh, were studied with the, the that is the effect of electricity on the cells was studied the electrode uh, used was platinum which inhibited the growth of the bacteria this led to the identification of platinum analogs as anti cancer drugs the next example is uh, the cattle fed on the spoiled sweet sweet clover hay that led to hemorrhagic illness uh, then it was uh, this lead molecule was introduced as a rat poison and the molecule the famous molecule which emerged out of it is warfarin which is a oral anticoagulant the next is example is lithium was used for gouty arthritis when injected to guinea pigs they remained calm so that was that was uh, giving an idea and lithium is now used as a anti maniac drug also the next example is vincristine uh, that is vinca alkaloids actual research uh, was to develop anti hypertensive drugs from the periwinkle plant but it resulted in the identification of uh, the anti cancer compounds uh, vincristine vinblastine which are used as anti cancer compounds the lead identification uh, can be done through combinatorial uh, chemistry so that is it involves uh, polymer chemistry peptide synthesis oligonucleotide synthesis organometallic synthesis organic molecule synthesis or inorganic molecule synthesis and the lead identification can be done through high throughput uh, screening also it screens a larger uh, library of uh, compounds uh, which involves uh, embedded uh, bioassays which could be used for lead identification the lead identification nowadays has been has taken a advanced leap now the leads could be identified from the nmr data also so let us see this is a protein a binding site uh, the screen for the ligand then uh, optimize the ligand such that you do some changes in the ligand such that it fits into the uh, protein which is identified with the nmr data then screen for the second ligand then you design the compound you fit into the protein optimize it and then you find the best lead for this protein with the nmr data so this is a very brief uh, nutshell of uh, the lead identification from different sources which is very useful in drug discovery i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel thank you